Representative Halverson, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. First question I have is, what do you see as the major issues facing your district, and how do you want to make a positive change? Well, I did a lot of door knocking in this last uh, campaign and talked to thousands of people from Egan, and people are extremely concerned about um, education and the future of education in Minnesota. Um, and people are wanting to see a true investment in our kids. And so that will be a major priority for me at the legislature. Folks also talked a lot about the tone at the Capitol, and they're concerned about a lack of willingness among um, party extremists to get things done. And, and folks want to see um, the legislature come together and get some work done. And, and I think that uh, this is a session where, where we can do that. And in order to make a big difference in my community, um, staying connected is uh, my top priority, making sure that um, my constituents have a direct line to talk to me, um, that I'm in the community, making sure that I continue to be the voice of Egan here at the Capitol. What prompted you to run for a state representative, and who was the first person you told? <laughs> Oh, the first person I told was my husband, and I laughed because his response was, I've been telling you you need to do this for years, and you don't listen. So, um, And I was prompted to run because I've been involved in the community a long time. Um, I really love Egan, and uh, I had a number of people um, in Egan encourage me to consider running um, because of my value of wanting to make sure that we have the people involved in the process and folks were feeling shut out, and, and that really inspired me to run. I, I have a history of working in civic engagement and, and helping people discover their power as citizens, and um, to get to be the voice of Egan, it, it uh, didn't take me long to think that this would be a pretty fantastic job for me. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your occupation, and your home life. Well, last um, almost five years, I've been a stay-at-home mom. Um, we adopted a baby, and, and uh, I've been a stay-at-home mom and, and uh, active community volunteer. I chair the Egan Park and Recreation Commission. That term is just ending. And I've been on the Egan Foundation Board of Directors for a number of years and uh, so really involved in our community. Um, and prior to that, I actually worked in healthcare policy. I worked for Blue Cross and Blue Shield in Minnesota, which is based in Egan, and uh, was very actively involved in traveling around the state, um, engaging citizens in discussions around healthcare reform and uh, healthy um, policies like um, uh, tobacco control policies like our great clean indoor air law that passed a few years ago. If you could offer up the first bill of the legislative session, what would that bill be? That's a really, really great question. I, um, at this stage of the game, I really want to dig into um, uh, the nuts and bolts of what's making our government run. I think that our number one priority as legislators this session has to be passing a responsible budget, and that is going to take um, just a lot of work on everybody's part to dig in, get a broad understanding of what we're facing, and talk seriously about reforming the way government runs. Would I be the person that's going to author House File 1? Probably not. Um, my commitment as, a, as an incoming legislator is to um, do my homework and really get to know this process and really um, work hard to find ways to make our government work most efficiently for our citizens because that's what people are asking for. If you could describe yourself in three words, what three words would you choose and why? Well, I would say enthusiastic. Um, I would say um, uh, homebody and I would say um, uh, committed. I'm really um, am passionately committed to uh, this value of civic engagement and the value of people in government. I mean, it's just part of who I am. It's been part of who I am my whole life. And, and so uh, folks will get to see that, hopefully, and, and connect with me at the Capitol in that regard. Um, and I'm enthusiastic um, about this job. I'm enthusiastic about uh, making a difference in my community and always have been. And, and there's a big part of my heart that's at home. And, uh, that's why I, you know, I, I love being a stay-at-home mom for four years, and, and uh, my community just really means the world to me. And so um, there's a big part of my heart that's always at home. Representative Halverson, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.